an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where all eyes and ears of the world are anxiously waiting because for the first time in history, we're going to hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? I don't know, but it's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't have to be at work during the day. Hey, you think these billion-dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Folks, everybody needs to stay back behind the barricade. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't know. I just got to chill. If it isn't the B team, any of you boys work on this. <laughs> hmm. All rise. The Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right. Case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five major food companies collectively. A privilege. Uh, Mr. Benson. You're representing all bees of the world? <clears throat> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're ready to proceed. And Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we were to live in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just, just, just think of what it would mean. Maybe I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking bee. How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion picture capture Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids. Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. And as a bee, honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. And we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think they can take whatever they want from us because we're the little guys. And what I'm hoping is that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not only taking away everything we have, but everything we are. <laughs> 